it's rocket stripes today i wanted to build a christmas house um also i i've tried to record like nine videos and they all flop so here is hoping this one goes well anyway we have this little town it hasn't been finished obviously it's trying but we're not messing with that today today we're going to find the top of a hill and we're going to build a mansion all right so i think that this should work it's not the top of a hill but um i don't feel like finding a top of the hill because i don't know where one is so i just want this to be happy and cutesy and christmasy so we're gonna make it out of wood i guess and i'm going off a picture of what looks to be like a gingerbread house uh also i'm just gonna say we have to go with it because that's the only info i can find so we're kind of going with that idea maybe i made this a little bit too big but i think it will be okay because if worst comes to worst we'll include bathrooms here's the issue with going off of reference that's a gingerbread house it's brown it's all brown and it's kind of boring all right that's meh and then we just gotta just just give me a second okay okay i got this i promise i have this and i don't need y'all thinking you're she don't got this like man okay i know this isn't live and there isn't a chat and i know you don't think i got this but i got this i can see i i know your thoughts and honestly they're rude so anyway ta-da cute look it's already getting christmasy so i'm calling that a win oh my gosh it's ice kid cold why is it spelled like that Ugh. that's disgusting also we have icicles but they're ugly so yay but like look it's okay is it the best absolutely not but is it doable yeah it's okay hi guys um okay so actually it's like the next day because i also got back from work again um but yeah i was like tired and i didn't feel like it so like the house look we're working on it okay um we just need to add some more caricature oh the sun it's so pretty back in this corner this is gonna be like a little christmas tree isn't that cute i think that's cute i'm easily entertained so yeah <gasps> oh okay we're gonna put these lights in front of the window because it's like it's not aesthetic but it's like christmasy and it's very family cozy vibes all right so this is like the best kind of tile thing we have are just like the whitewashed bricks which are kind of basic but like it works you know yeah i'm gonna just throw those around like that nice and then <laughs> that's like a really small backsplash because it's mostly windows but it's okay all right let's just work on the living room for now so we have this tree and i'm thinking we're gonna do it unconventionally behind the couch because if we put the tree like here then it gives a little bit more space like a little bit more of a flow and then we can still have presents and stuff back there let's put some green curtains because it's kind of homey to have like a not an ugly colored curtain but like a not like necessarily most attractive colored curtain you know we're just gonna throw some wool down here wow using wool as a rug that's just crazy genius but like honestly it's fine um and then we're just gonna add some like coffee tables and trash around you know now we don't have any stockings which means i should probably bit some stockings but i'm not going to because um that's a lot of work and i don't want to do that i'll throw like some bookshelves down here though to make it a little bit more cozy so then it looks like it's like this nice built-in set you know what if we did them like here because that seems kind of like annoying and in the way which seems really realistic at least in my house like we always have bookshelves in actually the most like obnoxious spots possible so you know we like to keep the realism here and all of the realism is based off my personal life experience because i'm the only one making a video all right well we can put coffee mugs down for whatever reason i don't know I guess we should probably use the dainty ones, even though the fat, chunky ones are way more realistic. Like, we always have hot chocolate in those, like, chonk mugs. Um, again, this is all based off my life. We always have, like, an old falling apart gingerbread house sitting on our thing. Not, well, not old, just, like, it's half-eaten. 
But then, like, the gingerbread is left because the gingerbread itself is pretty nasty. Yay. Realism. Otherwise, you don't have the same cozy aspect. If everything looks too perfect, then you miss out on the authenticity of it all. That is how I justify my room. Oh, that's okay. Look, presents, yay. You know what's funny? At work, people always call me really chipper and happy, and I'm like not a naturally happy person, but at work, my facade is so good that they're like, bro, you're happy, and I'm like, uh, not my co-workers, they, they, they know me. Our house is always like really cozy, but also kind of cuddly. Not as in cute ugly, as in cozy ugly. It's ugly, but it's kind of cozy too. So this house is kind of giving me those vibes, which I like it, it's homely. So this is what we have going on with the upstairs, it's all right. We're gonna have the boys' bedroom, the master bathroom and bedroom, and then the girls' bedroom. I wanted to make it very girly, just very feminine. Literally just the personality is the color pink. Because honestly, sometimes that's kind of a vibe. Like, I'm a very strong mixture between being very girly and not very girly, so, today we're gonna go very girly i guess i don't know it's not gonna be like obnoxious girly it's gonna be like classy girly you know what i mean i don't know because i think that that can be quite the vibe and then i think that we have a canopy we can even put is that floating maybe are we gonna talk about that absolutely not there we go that's okay i guess i don't know let's like fill this up some more i think we could make her a writer oh <gasps> Mm, I'm kind of vibing with that, okay? Like, she goes to school and, you know, is, like, a basic teenager or whatever. But she's also really into writing. I think that's very cute and gives her some actual personality. Rather than just being like, she likes pink. Because you can like pink and still have a personality. It's just rare. No, I'm kidding. But, like, for realsies, you can like pink and have a personality. So, we're gonna incorporate that. And then, let's put just, like, a bookshelf over here in her room. Kind of big. She's giving me very strong, hopeless, romantic vibes. So we're going to like bring that around the room with us. And then we're gonna have these like long hanging plants that like, you know, really tie into that, I guess. Also, I am fully aware that I've changed outfits like nine times. I actually changed out of this shirt and then I had to change back into this shirt because I went to dinner and I was cold anyway. Um, But this is the room. So I think it's like, it's cozy, but like it's, cramped nice cozy like i honestly vibe with it i think that this is very like nice and then let's just throw some polaroids here you know because she she is like a normal girl you know she has like pictures and stuff around so it's kind of cute um yay honestly i was gonna change the pink but it kind of complements the bed so we're just gonna leave it and for the boys room i actually had a big brain thought here so in my completely dead discord server that i literally never look at one of you guys was like hey can you boy build me a cute boy's bedroom with mods so we're gonna do that because it's two in one you're welcome yeah this is gonna have some exposed slant to give it some personality i want an orange mattress but they don't have that but if i do a yellow it kind of it's kind of a lot of yellow you know so maybe we'll do a blue and then a black and white. You know, that's kind of cute. But I think that we're gonna have it right here. Which, from a design aspect, like standpoint, I don't know, seems kind of ugly. But I want this to be more realistic than cute, as we've been over many times. Um, so we're gonna go with it. And then to add to the realism, we're gonna make him a gamer except he's probably trash at every game that he plays but that again adds to the realism am i saying boys are trash at games maybe is that a lie maybe not no sorry i don't i don't know why i'm being like so sassy um i'm sorry i'm just in a weird mood right now i will give him a second monitor if that helps uh, me seem like less than the evil person there we go is it ugly kind of are we once again gonna leave something knowingly ugly around? I think so. I was going to make this a literal like infant child's room, but this is turning more into um, a teenage boy room vibes. So we're gonna carry that theme on with an ugly like 66 thing on the wall, a uh, baseball bat and that. On the shelf, we can have his Nintendo, a dying goldfish, then maybe some dusty books up top. 
<gasps> can we give him a fedora? That's so mean. Oh my gosh, that's so mean. I'm totally gonna do it. Um, yay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm packing literally everything right now. I woke up and chose violence, but that's okay. And then to finish it off, we're going to add a little rug that's way too small from the room and probably smells like socks. Yay! All right, here we go. So this is the parents' master bedroom. We're going to have a bed. This room is going to scream symmetry and uninspired. Not because I'm uninspired and just want to copy and paste. It's because it's the vibe that they're going for. Look, this is a reader, so they have books, but not only books. No, 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 no. They have sunglasses, because there aren't actual glasses. Maybe she gets reading from her mom, the, the chick, I mean, and then can the side have a dying fern, which, yeah, he gets gardening from his dad, except does he really? It's Christmas time, Christmas time. We have nasty lights everywhere. Booyah! All right, there we go. Lovely, um, lovely. This is the official tour. Bathroom number two and number four. Voila! Also outside, yes. Well, no, actually. My apologies, just a moment, please, if you will hold. Yay! Okay, I love it. It's literally probably the bestest thing I've ever built. So, thanks for watching. I hope this got you in the holiday spirit. Also, it is four days until Christmas, which means when you're watching it, it's probably Christmas Eve. Um, assuming I ever get this edited. So, I love you guys. Actually, I probably don't. Um, but if I know you, maybe I love you. Depends on who you are. And I hope you all have a really Merry Christmas. Bye!